Hello Year 2, welcome back to another maths meeting with me Mr Beren. I hope um, you're doing well today. Let's get into today's lesson. Okay, today we're looking at something that we've done before and we're just going to have a recap on it today. It's adding two digit numbers. Now remember we did it like this using the frame. So what we first need to do when we do this is partition the numbers. That's our first step. We need to partition the number. So let's, when we split it into its tens and into its ones. So let's have a look at the first number, 26. We're going to partition to its tens and its ones. So there's two tens there. So that's 20 and six ones. The next one, 21, two tens again. So 20 and one. Then down here, next step, can you remember? That's right, we add the ones first. Six add one is seven. Twenty add twenty. Well, we did that in the last lesson, didn't we? Two add two is four, so forty. So combine them together, forty and seven equals forty-seven. Now let's have a go together. So the first step, let's partition those numbers. So first number here, 45. So what's going to go in the tens column? 40, because that 4 represents 40. And then the ones? 5, absolutely. Now for 33, what's going to go in the tens? 30. And what goes in the ones? 3. And then we're going to use the column to add them together. So let's have a look at the first column. 5 add 3. Work it out, work it out on your fingers if you have to. 5 add 3 is 8. 40 add 30. Well, I know 4 add 3 is 7. So 40 add 30, 70. And our answer is 78. Brilliant. Okay. Next one. Try this one. So partitioning those numbers. going to do for the next one. That's right, it's going to be zero because there are zero ones there. Okay, six add zero. I've got six here. I add zero. It's six, yeah. Sixty add twenty. What's the answer? It is six add two is eight. So six add twenty sixty add twenty is eighty. And put it together, combine our answer, 86. Okay. Right, on your sheets that are on Seesaw, and that are in your work packs, you've got some questions to do. What I'd like you to do is fill out the, uh, the grids like I've done. There's an example at the top for you. Partition the numbers first. So that's our first step, partition. And then remember... Next bit is add the ones. The next bit, add the tens. And then the last bit is combine them for your answer. Okay, well that's combine where you put them together. Okay, um, once you've done that, you can move on to the challenge. And I've got a challenge for you here, which is, <clears throat> missing numbers so here's your missing number what goes in here what goes in here what goes in here and what's this number here some of you have done this before but you need to work backwards have a think pause it now if you want and then because i'm going to go through the answers Right, if you haven't had a go, pause it now so you can do it. So 67 was the answer. So we know that this is 60 and 7, because I know that 67 is 60 and 7. And I also know that it's 20 and 1, because 6 add 1 equals 7. That makes sense. Now, 
something add 20 equals 60. So what is that number there that makes... Uh, so if I do 60 take away 20, working backwards using the inverse, that's 40, 46. So 46 add 21 must make equal 67. I've worked it out. Okay, let's go through the answers for this now. So I'll partition them 40 and 2, 20. And 4, remember you can send this in 2, add 4 is 6, 40 is 20 is 60, and the answer is 66. Next one, 50 and 6, 30 and 3, 6 and 3 is 9, 50 and 30 is 80, 89. Make sure you check these properly. 10 and 9 is 90, 40 and 0, 9 add 0 is 9. 10 add 40 is 50, that's 59. Next one, 10 add 8, 61, 8 is 9, 10 add 6, 60. so 79. Well done if you got these. Um, if you're struggling with these, obviously you can always ask your teacher for help. Uh, uh, make sure you're sending this in so they can see it. But I'll see you in the next maths meeting. Bye-bye.